Hi, I'm Jenny Keller. Welcome to the Keller Farmhouse. Today I'm going to show you how to make little strawberry shortcakes in a jar, perfect for summer. The way I make my shortcake is with Bisquick. Um, so I already have my mix in the bowl and I'm doubling the recipe that's on the box. So this is four and two thirds of a cup. And then we're going to add the milk, which is, I have it written down, um, one and one thirds of a cup of milk, half a cup of sugar, and then the butter, which is six tablespoons. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's totally melted. This is probably one of the only recipes I'll ever tell you to melt your butter all the way. Because, like when you're making cookies, if you melt your butter all the way like that, you will ruin your dough. But in this situation, you want it melted. And you can use margarine if you don't have butter. So we're gonna mix this up till it gets nice and sticky. And then roll them into little shortcakes. Um, you can also use, you know, angel food cake or even like a cake mix, but I love Bisquick biscuits. And then we also have our oven preheated to 425 degrees. So as you can see, it didn't take very long to mix that up. And I really could use a scoop. Let's see. I can get something about just something quick here. Scoop this out with. I think a cookie scoop would be ideal. Let me get a cookie scoop. Let me wash my hands and be back. Okay, so I want you to see how sticky this is because it just kind of like wraps around your um, paddle attachment, but it's like very, I don't know, it's not even really hardly, well, sticking to one hand, but um, it stays in its ball shape. So I grabbed a cookie scoop so you guys could see about what size you want to make these. Um, I'm going to link to this cookie scoop because you need this. If you aren't subscribed to my site, head there now, jennycookies.com and subscribe and I will email you a list of where to get some of these things. I use this scoop for making cupcakes because it helps you um, bake all your cupcakes evenly. It has to work a little bit harder with this sticky dough. And then um, my cookie sheets are not greased. But they are a nice couple inches apart. And really, you can make these whatever size you want. Because they almost break up in the jar anyway. So if you prefer to make smaller or larger, you're just going to have to adjust your baking times a little bit. I'll bake these about nine minutes. On my tiny cookie sheets. Because big cookie sheets don't fit in my oven. Which is so sad. And while you're watching me scoop, just head down to the bottom of this video and hit subscribe and I'm going to throw these in the oven and we'll meet back here. So our shortcakes baked. Um, I baked them for about nine minutes on 425 degrees. I didn't tell you this um, earlier, but I had already pre-cut my strawberries and raspberries. I added raspberries to these so it's like a berry shortcake and added a half cup of sugar to it and just kind of let them marinate in my refrigerator. And so now we're going to take the shortcakes and put them in a jar. I got these jars at the W aka the Walmart. Um, these I just took the lids off and then got some um, little gingham ribbon. I actually already had it and just shredded it up and tied little bows on it. So you're going to take your jar, but any mason jar or anything will do. Um, and then you're going to, since they're not going to fit exactly down in here, you're just going to kind of crumble your shortcake down in. So I took about two thirds of that and then I'm going to scoop again, the scoop. It's amazing. Works for everything and crumble a little bit more on top. So you're really only getting about one biscuit per shortcake and then another little scoop. And I'm going to put them in this little vintage caddy here that I found at some sort of a vintage sale, but I know that you could find something like this if you really wanted one on Etsy or even eBay, or just keep your eyes out this summer at a garage sale. I think these are really, really cute for summer barbecues, um, 4th of July, really anytime. Shortcake's good, but the fresh strawberries are amazing when, when they're fresh. I'm gonna give this one a little bit more on top. 
And then um, this is something you could actually, you could do this entire part and then take it like this to a barbecue or party or wherever you're going and then add the Cool Whip or the ice cream at the, the event or if you're having it at your own place. You know, don't put that on until it's ready to serve. This recipe is also found in my book, Eat More Dessert, available on Amazon. Um, it's in a chapter, a farm chapter. So there's all kinds of really cute other little like farm themed desserts that go with it. And again, if you aren't subscribed to my site, you should head there now, jennycookies.com and put your email in and then you will get this recipe emailed to you and the places to find this amazing scoop. Um, I was going to show you this and then I realized that not everybody would want to take this extra step, but when you have that dough, when you have your, your shortcake dough, you can save a little bit extra and roll it out um, somewhat thick, I would say like maybe half an inch thick. And then you could take a little star cookie cutter, I have them right here, and just cut them out and then bake those separately than your um, your shortcakes. But um, they'll bake in little stars and then you can top them with little stars. So I won't bore you doing all of these, but once you have them all done, you can put little mini wooden spoons in here which makes them even more adorable for your guests. And I'll also link to these. And then like I said, you're just gonna add a little bit of whipped cream to the top of this or ice cream. If you really were serving this right away, you could layer the cool down in here, but since um, we wanna bring these somewhere, we're not gonna just so we get there. So anyway, strawberry shortcake minis.